What do you think the best way to um, invest is buying in at the dips? Because I, I bought more when you know it dipped recently. Um, but then I just I don't like buying on the way up. But I suppose you could dollar cost average in. What, what, you, what would you suggest? Buy buy whenever you're okay losing that money. That's how you bit, yeah. yeah. That's how you got to think about it. So whenever I buy Bitcoin, I hold it. Mm -hmm. Like my Bitcoin reserve is my Bitcoin reserve. I it's denominated in Bitcoin. It's not denominated in dollars. My goal. I tell people, you know, if you can get to a Bitcoin, you're a G because that's going to be worth a lot because in the near future, not every millionaire is going to be able to own a Bitcoin. There's more millionaires than there are Bitcoins. That could tell you something. You think the craze with NFTs was wild? Just wait till Bitcoin in 2030. I think it's 20, 2030, 2034, something along this, this, this timeline. 99% of the Bitcoin will be mined. So there will be no more Bitcoin in circulation. So everything that's coming into existence, the market that's created is based off of of an asset class that can only go up because if the demand continues to increase and the supply doesn't, price appreciation. Who's bet on, on winning plays? Do you still not own any Bitcoin? Not at the moment. I have done before, but I always just end up dipping out I just don't care. I really but just don't Why care. don't you just buy some and hold it? No, I will get some. I definitely will get You've some been saying very, that very soon. For years. Yeah, I will do And soon. if you had done it when you first said it, instead of buying the watch. Then I'd have probably made some nice money, yeah. But I, we've already established I can't invest. Every time I invest, I lose money. <laughs> yeah, but that's because you I've sell I've never it. made money on an investment in my life. Why? Because I'm just too... He sells it for Why? tax purposes and Just fucking just... start moving no, shit around. No, he no. messes with the money. Calm down. Right. Yeah. Luke's going to question you now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Why? Why? What? Why have you never made a good investment? Um, because I make investments that turn out to be good investments, but for some reason I don't have them anymore once that comes into So you don't have fruition. the balls to hold? Yeah, it must be. All right. So, so you're lacking it's, balls. It's, it's, it's a lack of conviction. I, I've made so some great investments. So, so you know how you develop off. conviction? Hmm? You know how you develop conviction? Go on. For sure. Knowledge. Right. So if you spent the next hundred hours studying Bitcoin and studying where your money currently resides, you would go to Bitcoin. Yeah, I get that. It is an ignorance thing. I, I just genuinely don't care enough. I understand. That, That's yeah. just NPC behavior. And yeah. you will and you will deal with the consequences of of that inaction. Are they I necessarily if consequences you, though? But if you can't be we'll bothered see, we'll to see do when the you research, we'll see when we'll, we'll see when they tell you in a couple of years that you gotta get vaccinated again or you'll they'll freeze your bank account. No, but what I'll do is I'll I'll just buy some with money that I'm prepared to lose and then just see what happens and I don't have to know about it. Yeah, because you're still looking at it as an investment instead of a new form of money. It's a new form of money. Yeah, I see it as an investment. I, 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 I don't know. I, I do just. You don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, okay. I, I've it, always it, said this. Yeah, but it, once again, it's like you need to go through that phase of feeling stupid to then become knowledgeable. And there's certain things that are ROI positive to be knowledgeable about. Like if you're expending life force, life force, time, energy, and attention to generate money, can you hold that invested time, energy? and attention in the year 2050. Can you retain that energy that you've instilled? Because energy can either be created nor destroyed. It can only be what? Transformed. Second law of thermodynamics. The entire world is bound by natural law. Fiat isn't, which means it's corrupted. Doesn't work because you're creating something out of thin air. That can't do that. It's against natural law, which means the system will implode. So under that premise, knowing that energy that can either be created or destroyed, it can only be transformed. What are you transforming your energy into? You need to transform your energy into something that can't be pre printed more of. So you take your energy and you store it in Bitcoin. Instead of taking your energy and storing it in fiat because fiat can get printed out of thin air. Because it actually requires physical energy to mine a Bitcoin right now. I, I, I actually get, I actually get <laughs> See more you a Bitcoin, worried. baby. Is, are you going to get some Bitcoin? He's going to get some Bitcoin. Yeah, no, no of course no, I will. Pers personally, of course I, I will. I get more worried when I have the money in my bank account and I'm going over a threshold. And I think, you know, to be honest with you, this isn't going to be covered. I would rather hold it in Bitcoin yeah. because I feel safer there. Why isn't it going to be covered? Oh, because of the insurance and, and everything. There's only so be much you can hold in different banks. Because you're not holding anything. Yeah. Because banks do not deposit money. You do not deposit money into the banks. When you give the money in the bank, you're loaning the bank money. That's why you have an interest return. Once you get an interest return, that money is no longer an asset, it's a liability. And then they take that liability and they create credit. They are in the business of buying and selling securities. They're not in the business of storing your money. So once you understand that they're not in the business of storing your money, then you need to store your money. 
So what are you going to store your money into? Monopoly? Paper that they've been told brings value? Or you are going to find an alternative system? The intelligent person that values their time, energy, and attention because it's a finite resource and they want to maintain that into the near future, they will find an alternative system. This, how you're thinking isn't bad. It's just you can't think that way because it's no longer 1915 where money isn't getting printed out of thin air. Back in the day, you could go work a factory job and in three years buy a house cash. Because and, and you could just save money because they weren't printing more of it. Mm. So you can't save money because they're printing more of it, which means the money that you currently have is worth less. So you need to put that money that you currently have energy units into something before that thing becomes more valuable. You are have to be earlier than the other motherfucker. That's the name of the game, dude. You have to get your money into resources and places before everybody else. That's why the people that bought real estate in New York City early on capitalized supply demand supply demand what if there's no longer any demand for the dollar maybe well, we have I'm infinite supply it, i'm just gonna do it i can't just can't be asked to keep going on about it. from now on every time i save <laughs> every time i save a thousand pounds i'm gonna save eight to nine hundred pounds and put one to two hundred pounds in in ten percent and then 100%. we'll just see how that goes and then i'll, I'll and yeah. and you're buying bitcoin to hold bitcoin if you look at Bitcoin in denominated in dollars, you're not buying Bitcoin. Yeah, I just I can't be asked to just say Luke told me so. Luke told me so. I'm such an idiot, and now I've been left behind. So now I'm just not having that. I think the problem is a lot of people go into buy Bitcoin, and then they keep their money on the exchanges. Where do you use like a ledger or something? Yeah, do you have to be yeah. in custody of your own funds at all yeah. times? And I, I, yeah, like the FTX situation wiped a lot of money from people, so they they probably feel a bit a, a certain way about crypto at the moment. Not your keys, not your crypto. If you if you put your money where it doesn't have your own custody, just like a bank, just like an exchange, they can take it. I also feel like some people, especially at their maybe the, the, the start of their journey as an entrepreneur or just a, a person that works a normal job, would be better off investing that money into themselves, into 100%. their skills, into their businesses, which is the route I'm on. So to answer your question is like, why not, why not? Well, I see the value in it and I will, but in my current period period of life, I see more value in, okay, how can I spend that money on things that I'm fully in control of to make more money? I agree. Do you save money? Uh, I have money saved for a rainy day as okay. much as I would need. So why are you saving it in fiat? It's finding the best, ver it's finding the yeah. best alter alternative. The, That's all that the game is. Yeah. I guess Just when you said like, you, you got to put your money in, in crypto when you're prepared to lose all of it. Yeah. Maybe he isn't prepared to exactly. lose all of that in fear, backup money. What I have saved in fear, I know that's going to be, okay, it might be worth a little bit less because of inflation in a few years, but that's staying there. I know where it is. So it's an actual It's staying backup. where? In, in my bank account. I have access to that. So I'll be able to access that money if I need to in two years' time. So let's say right now, let's say you have 10 grand. Okay, just yeah. a scenario, 10 grand. Let's say you do a private coaching. Yeah. I pay you for a coaching. Yeah. I do a month worth of coaching. I pay you another ten thousand dollars. Yeah, you take ten grand, but you give me for that coaching twenty hours of your time. Yeah, took you twenty hours of energy in order to get that ten grand. Today, you can take the ten, t that ten grand and go buy or put a down deposit on a car. In ten years, if you just held on to that ten grand, they would have been stealing your time, energy, and attention because if I went to go buy that same car with that ten thousand, I wouldn't be able to. Yes, of course. So what is taking place? They're keeping your denominated units as the same, but the value of the unit isn't the same. So they're lying to you, making you feel that one dollar is a dollar when it's actually not. Yeah. One dollar from 1913, excuse me, from 1979 to today is one dollar 1979. Today is three cents. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> so if you would have kept a hundred grand in there, yeah, you would still have a hundred grand but it wouldn't be worth the purchasing power of that. You need to look at purchasing power divided by the amount of time that it took you to keep that, right? So the amount of time that it took you to generate that, you wanna preserve that energy unit as best as possible into the future. You're saving not for today, you need, you need to save in future currencies, bro. We live in a completely different time, completely but, different but horizon. Bitcoin can do this and this. But it always does higher lows. But I think it would yes. have been very difficult to get it today so, without any fiat currency. If, if I add huh? Go on, I'll say well, after. So I could, let's say I have a hundred grand in Bitcoin. 
and then I need that money for whatever reason. Yeah. Sell your Bitcoin. Yeah, but it might be a lot. I might have lost money at yeah, that point. In, yeah. Whereas if I had it in fiat, and I had a hundred grand in the bank, and next year I need a hundred grand. You, for you would reason. have temporarily lost purchasing power. Yes. It feels safer to me. Yeah, but no, I've got that in in my. But the thing is, Barclays you don't. Account you, than the Bitcoin. thing is, you don't understand how money acceleration works. So once money acceleration takes place and the printers turn on, they continue printing. In the last since 2020 to now, 25 percent of all circulating dollars were printed in the last four years. So in the last four years, your purchasing power went down 25 percent. Yeah. And Bitcoin went up 50 percent. You should save an amount that you in case something goes wrong and you need that money. Bro, Everything yeah, else should be. You need to have your ability to pay for your utilities and yeah. pay for your expenses. What I'm saying is this idea of saving. Yeah. I have more of a concern about it than you guys because I make more money. A billionaire is sitting there thinking 8% of my fucking hundred million dollars and my billion dollars cash that I have, I'm losing 8% of that value every single year. They're fucking losing their shit. I'm sitting on eight figure. I'm like, okay, like I get it, whatever. Those guys are probably losing their mind. So they're trying to find where do they put their money into? Is it always going to be real estate? Always, always. No, it doesn't work that way. Alternative assets. And Bitcoin, all the billionaires are in Bitcoin, dude. All the smartest guys are in Bitcoin. The guys in payments, they're in Bitcoin. Stripe just opened up your ability to access crypto. We're talking about Stripe. It takes credit cards, deals with normal banks. They're just, boom. Why? Because they see it. They see the future. I see the future. I know where the future's headed. Buy some Bitcoin. Trust.